안녕하세요 여러분 저는 여러분의 한국어 친구들 다입니다. Okay, so today is like the big day. I have my TOEIC exam in like two and a half hours, and I just thought I'd vlog this whole experience for you, um, just because I don't know. I don't know. I just I just feel like it, and I'm trying to procrastinate on studying. All right, so if you look online, they actually tell you not to study before the test. They're like, girl, boy, person, you know, like you've already learned everything you're gonna learn. You're just gonna stress yourself out. But listen, all my nights of like pulling all nighters for my college exams has been worth it. Okay, I've always scored really well in those tests. So like, um, I'm the outlier. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna try and do a reading section before I go pick up my friend. Um, to go to the testing center. So I actually like printed out a ton of old tests or past papers and had them bound so that I could practice them because I lose papers because like I said I'm in college and I'm disorganized and my life's a mess. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a reading section because I actually haven't done one like in full like during the allotted time just because I'm bad. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go get my friend. We're gonna take the test. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway. I'm trying to act excited, but I'm actually really stressed out right now. Really, really stressed out. Yeah, so let's go ahead and start this reading. Woo. Okie dokie, so I didn't exactly finish my test because I realized I don't, I, I looked up and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have as much time as I thought I did because like, I guess I'm bad at math. Anyway, um, so I did about half of it. I think it's gonna be fine. Um, but right now I need to look up how to write a topic essay. Like there's a specific ending you're supposed to use and I know I've learned it, but I kind of forgot. So I just need to review it really quick. And then I also want to look up if there's any way you're supposed to actually write the essay. like. If you're, I don't know, I'm thinking it's like the SAT and you're supposed to be like in this book or something. Like, I don't know. Um, but I need to look that up real quick as well. Um, and yeah, and then I also put on some makeup because maybe if the test thinks I'm cute, it'll be nicer to me. But yeah, let's go ahead and look up all that writing SAE stuff. Don't be like me. Don't wait till the last minute, guys. It's time to go get Jana. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so we made it to come get Jana. We're waiting for her to come. And yeah, and hurry up, Jana. I don't know, my biggest fear is that we're gonna be late. Like we're leaving almost an hour early and the drive is only like 15 minutes, but like I get so nervous. I'm always like, what if I'm late? Like I kept waking up last night cause I was like, I'm gonna miss my test. My test is like basically like a 1 p.m. And I thought I was gonna like oversleep or something. I'm like that nervous. <gasps> Here she comes. Here she comes. Hello! My name is Jana. You've met me before. Um, I'm the late friend. I don't ever show up anywhere on time. But that's because I don't like Natalia as much as I say I do. That's anyway. rude! <laughs> If she stops the car and drops me off, I can't get home. I mean, I can't. It'd take like four hours. I don't, I think we might have passed it. So, where's the ATV? Uh, oh, I think we passed the ATV. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to help you vlog. No, you <laughs> Today, we are taking the topic test. We're taking intermediate level, right? Yes. Sorry, I'm trying to get, I don't know where we are now. <laughs> Thousands of tears later. Okie dokie, so uh, we finished our exam. We finished around 4.20-ish. Um, I just came home, changed my clothes because that's just what I do after exams. It makes me feel like that's in the past, like it's over, can't change it. I don't know, I'm just weird. But yeah, so I changed my clothes. Um, overall, the exam was really difficult. It was so difficult. Guys, I don't even, Ugh. So the listening section, I think went okay. Like it. I think it could have gone better, but it wasn't like awful. Um, the writing section, I hadn't practiced my writing, like I told you guys earlier, just because I don't, I don't like writing. Um, but I think I did pretty well. The only thing 
that I know I could have done better is that on the last essay it did not reach the word count um just it just it didn't reach the word count and I feel like that's gonna hurt me a lot so we'll see and then um the reading section okay I didn't practice my reading because reading is usually like my best section like I, I don't but there were just so many words I didn't know and my brain was tired and it was like girl let's just stop let's just not do this and I had to guess on at least half the questions because I didn't know enough vocabulary to understand the answer choices or to understand the reading it was not good it was not good like the proctor was trying to make us feel better he's like 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 it's fine don't worry just like you'll do well on the test like it's not the end of the world and I'm over there like oh, yes it is <laughs> it's the end of my world anyway um so I guess we'll just have to see what happens when the results come out and I'll share that with you guys so yeah I guess it's just a waiting game now four to six weeks later all right so it's time for me to share my topic scores with you guys so the whole process of trying to see my scores was ridiculous ridiculous um so uh korea really likes internet explorer and i do not have internet explorer i'm a mac user so i had to wait a day or so to go see um go to my university and try and use their pcs which do have internet explorer and even that didn't work because once you have internet explorer you have to download this special software to see your scores don't ask me why i don't know but you do and if you guys have ever tried to use a school computer you know that you can't download whatever software you find on the internet right it won't let you so i didn't find out my scores until maybe two three days ago um here at my home and so when i saw my score i was very disappointed <laughs> so i wasn't sure i wanted to actually share this with you guys because i feel so sad but i felt like it's important to sh share the struggles and our um disappoint disappointments in ourselves <laughs> so that we know we're not the only ones <laughs> so i took the topic two test right which is a uh, lower intermediate to fluent or proficient and uh i failed there's no other way to say that other than i failed so in order to get a three which is lower intermediate you need to get 120 points i had 109 points I was 11 points away from a three and this was really heartbreaking for me because I was hoping to get a four and I didn't even get a three yeah <laughs> um mm, so basically when I saw that it said which means like failed <laughs> when I saw that like I was so sad I was like what like this test is telling me that I suck really <laughs> it's telling me that like I have considered myself an intermediate learner for quite a while and it's like no 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 girl you're not even lower intermediate and I was like oh, excuse me Brenda all right like <laughs> no sorry if your name is Brenda I don't know where that came from so I was really like I'm a fake <laughs> like I didn't like I was so sad because I feel like I've worked hard I've worked, I feel like I've worked really hard in studying Korean. I feel like I pride myself on like how far I've come in speaking Korean and learning Korean. And then this exam is like, no girl, you thought you were upper, you were like getting to close to that upper intermediate, but you're not even a lower intermediate. And that just like, it like broke my heart. Like I'm not gonna cry, I promise. But like, it just really was like, what? Like there, honestly for a split second, I thought about like, quitting YouTube and never studying Korean again like literally that's how heartbroken I was like for a split second I was like I don't want to learn Korean like honestly I was like I don't want to learn Korean like that's it like I'm done like apparently I'm not good enough for Korean therefore like I'm not gonna learn Korean anymore like that like I'm not even lying I'm not exaggerating that is honestly like how I felt <laughs> and I had to it took me a, I want to say it took me about a day or so to like not feel that way because I had to remind myself, like, Natalia, you literally just got a letter in the mail from your friend in Korea that was written in all Korean. And you understood every single thing in that whole, like, letter. Like, you understood everything. And you didn't have to look up anything. And you're saying that you suck at Korean? Like, why? Like, I felt like that test just told me that I got, I've gotten nowhere 
in my studies. And I had to remind myself that that's not true. And speaking objectively, not speaking with my broken heart, but um, speaking objectively, I feel like I would have done better on the exam, like significantly better if I'd studied for the exam, like, um, like done more practice at tests because it ends up, which I didn't expect, but a lot of the words are the same. So I had learned all the words in the instructions, but it ends up that a lot of the words in like the questions, like the content questions that like test you on like the reading passages and things like that and like the answer choices they use a lot of the same vocabulary which I was not expecting like at all I thought like if this is a fluency test they're gonna like you know shuffle up all the words because like why would you use the same words because that doesn't test fluency but apparently it does so if I had like learned those words instead of like studying Korean because that's what I spent most of my study time preparing for this exam was it was learning the language and I know like I got better I got better but like I didn't study like for the exam if that makes sense I studied for the exam but not in the format of the exam and had I done that I think like I would have done a lot better which makes me sad but I guess that's all I have to say about that and I'll see you guys next time so tell me about you guys then don't let a test tell you how good you are to language because yeah, okay, bye.